Good morning Scorpio, welcome to my channel guys. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and take a look and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do note, can, uh, I was going to say cancer, you could be doing, dealing with the cancer. Do note Scorpio uh, that the reading here today is for entertainment purposes only. So take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't. If you enjoy this reading though, feel free to let me know by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And to those of you who have, thank you so much for your support, your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, towards the end of this reading, we will take a look and see um, what cards want to come through regarding your person's shadow side. Whatever needs to be revealed there will be brought to light. Toward the end of the reading, we will, also, we will also go in to clarify some of these cards and we'll take a look and see how your special person, the person you're dealing with in love or thinking of, is feeling towards you and or the current situation. So the cards that are coming through, you've got the Two of Wands, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Temperance card. Um, the signs of the person that you could be dealing with here, we've got strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the temperance here, strong Sagittarius. With the empress at the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with either a Taurus or a Libran. Because I am looking at the symbol of Venus here. Um, so I feel because Libra and Taurus are both ruled by Venus, I, I, I get those two signs. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like I want to start here with the Two of Wands. We will take a look at the bottom of the deck in a moment, but I have to say with the Two of Wands and the Nine of Cups in reverse right beside, there is a fork in the road. There's a fork in the road. You're coming to a point... Um, in your relationship okay you're faced with some kind of a decision and i feel with the nine of cups in reverse that the decision that is being made has to be made based on what is best for you okay now, equally, Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone here that is making decisions based on what is best for them. Now, I say that because the Knight of Wands is in reverse. And when he's in reverse, he is in full-blown selfish mode. Okay, the Knight of Wands does not consider what is best for others. He only considers what is best for himself. So... I feel here you may be dealing with someone in love that is doing what's best for them. You may witness them making a decision this week that is purely selfish. When the Nine of Cups is in reverse... This is someone who is overindulging, who is taking more than what they're giving. So it could be, Scorpio, that you are investing a lot emotionally into a relationship or a situation. And this person here is just taking and taking and taking. With the Two of Wands, now you're coming to this point in this connection where you're faced with a decision on what you're going to do. We will go into clarify. Now, you've got the Temperance card and the Seven of Pentacles. Both of these cards speak to patience. Both of these cards speak to taking your time. Do not rush into making this decision. Take your time. Take as much time as you need, Scorpio. This isn't a time to react. If someone is doing something out of pure selfishness, 
Then with the Eight of Wands in reverse, this needs to be, I mean, things need to stop, okay? Things may be coming to a halt until you are clear and you are certain on what it is that you're going to do. I feel with the Seven of Pentacles, you've already perhaps invested a lot into this connection. With the Empress as the overarching energy, if you're dealing with someone here that's doing what's best for them and they're not considering your needs or your happiness here, then the Empress is asking for you or for the situation. It calls for self-worth, self-respect, okay? I'm, I'm hearing the word dignity, maintaining one's dignity here. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. The Empress is to be revered and respected. If you're not being respected, if you're not even being considered in the equation, then the Empress, she takes matters into her own hands as well. But she does it in a very dignified and very powerful way. She doesn't scream, she doesn't shout, she doesn't yell. She does it in a very goddess-like way that commands respect, yeah? Her strength comes from within. Her strength comes from knowing what she will and she won't tolerate. Ten of Wands underneath. Burdensome energy. Okay, you want accountability. You want someone to take the responsibility. And maybe someone isn't in this situation. So let's go into clarify. Let's clarify these two of wands. Spirit angels and guides, can we clarify the two of wands? So you're coming for this fork in the road. Yeah, look at this. Two of cups in reverse. Clearly, you are dealing with someone this week that is not meeting you in the middle. They are not meeting you in the middle. There may be a dispute. There may be some disagreements. You're not on the same page and you're not seeing eye to eye. Let's get some clarity on the Knight of Wands in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Interesting. I feel like either you've been in this situation before. I feel like you've dealt with this situation with this person before. Maybe you've had this conversation with this person in the past and it's or maybe it's just playing out with a different person. Let's just get another clarity card. Could be something that you thought you healed or you cleared up. Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. There's definitely tension arising this week. Let's get some clarity on the Seven of Pentacles. And then we'll go into... Um, Okay, I'll take the card that I see. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you need to take some time out to really think things through um, before you make this decision to go ahead. But you will, you will come to some kind of conclusion here. Okay, you will come to some kind of conclusion. Maybe the conclusion will be is just to be Maybe a little bit more patient or just to wait it out. Let's just take a look at this person's shadow side. What needs to be revealed when it comes to your 
special person or the person that you're thinking of. Okay, I'll take the first card that I see and it's projecting. Okay, they could be projecting their wounds onto you, Scorpio. This is a wound for them. This is, um, they're very triggered. They're very reactive and they're very cutting with their words right now. Distant. Okay, this person is distancing themselves or is acting very distant due to dealing with their own inner child wounds or maybe some wounds that they haven't fully healed or dealt with. There is a detached energy too coming through with the Knight of Swords, so expect this person to detach right now. Or maybe this is what they do, that maybe this person is um, known to ghost, okay, to ghost you, to go silent. Let's take a look and see how they're feeling towards you, Scorpio. How's this person feeling? Okay, let's take this one. I'm not reading reversals. We, oh, hang on. We've got the tower. I feel like this person feels like you're, you're throwing the bomb. Okay, I feel like, yeah, they feel that this situation between you and them is explosive. Um... Yeah, it's like, it, it, it's explosive, it's fiery. They feel like there could be a blow up here. They can just feel it. Awakening. They feel through this tower moment that they're going to have an epiphany. Okay. They're going to have some kind of an epiphany, which we'll, we will go into clarify what this epiphany is. And six of inspiration. This person really feels like they want your attention. They want your attention. Maybe you've been giving them a lot of attention. Ace of pentacles. The epiphany here is that this person is waking up to the realisation that they need to offer you something solid, something stable, something committed. The question is, is can they offer you that? They're having a hard time. They're having a hard time. Okay, there could be a lot of people around this person. Um... I feel like this individual is very dramatic or likes to create drama. Let's get some clarity on the Six of Inspiration. I feel like this person wants to come towards you with their cup of love or some. they want to bring some kind of a romantic gesture your way. It could be because they want to smooth things out here with you, especially with the tower card here. If there is some kind of a blow up between you and them, they do want to come towards you and smooth things out. Okay, that's what the knight in shining armor does. That's what Romeo does. So there's your reading, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading and until next time, take care.